Hi. Uh, John said he was taking a break from the show, JoJo show for a week or something, and he wanted uh, videos of one poem to fill the gap until he starts the show again. Hey, we all need a break sometimes for self-care, right? So here's my video to help you out, John. And also, thank you for the avenue to share our poetry, right? My name is Samna Rosnick, S-A-B-N-E-R-A-Z. Okay. Um, and I am currently promoting a book, an e chat book called Dreaming of Bono, which came out from John's Press in May, uh, which is the link for that is voicelexjournal.wordpress.com. And for the months of May and June 2022, you can donate to the press through the PayPal, Venmo, what, Venmo, whatever. And I will get the donations for that if you choose to donate. If you don't, the book is still free. Uh, at the end of June here that's coming up, uh, those donations will no longer come to me starting in July. There will be another featured chat book for that. So, But the chat book will still be available there. It'll just be free. So enjoy that. The premise of Dreaming to Bono... <laughs> I've been stumbling over my words all day. My apologies. The premise of Dreaming of Bono was I really didn't have a father figure. And so I kind of made Bono into my father figure. I know, a bit bizarre. But I guess I could have made worse choices. At least I chose somebody who wasn't into drugs and stuff. But, you know, as I became an adult, I was like, you know, it's time to work through this psychology and put this to bed. And that's basically what this collection was is me working through that psychology and uh so basically inner child work i guess they call it and but it's a fun little collection too it's really just fun i hope it, it was for me i hope it is for you and i've worked through what i need to work through now so that's good i'm going to read this is my favorite poem from this collection i haven't been reading it on the book tour because i tend to stumble over the poem I don't know if I will tonight or not. We'll see. But it's my favorite one. <laughs> this is called Conscience. And you know, um, I'm not a political person at all. I'm as far from politics as you can possibly get. I just, I'm not interested in that at all. But Bono, of course, is. <laughs> and the thing, I'm not. The thing I've learned to respect about that is, even though I think, personally, that his way of going about this is a bit misguided, perhaps, uh, because I just rather avoid politics altogether, um, at least he is following his conscience. There's a lot to be said for that. And that's what I learned from that, was to follow my conscience, whatever the consequence, right? That's what I took from it. Even if that means uh, following my conscience leads me a different direction than him, right? Because that's basically what children do. We take the example of our parents and then we decide for ourselves based on our own principles what we want to follow from that example and what to throw out. Did the same thing with him, right? This is called conscience. You are the only consistent male voice in my ear since birth. And the most important thing you taught me was to follow the voice of my own conscience, hang the consequence. And it's complicated. Sometimes I don't recognize you anymore. You have become the rock star in a box that you invented to mock your critics. Mocking and being are two completely different things. Black leather, sunglasses, philosophy, sound bites for the media to dangle from, A-list flattery, it doesn't always look good on you. But we are seldom as black and white simple as anything called hero, and listening to our conscience can lead us to situations that appear on the outside to be hypocritical. I'm not a child anymore, and I know Compromise is not a dirty word all the time. And I never wanted you in shining armor. No one can shine in blinding camera flash lightning. This 
is not my country. My country is not of this earth. I can't do what you taught me and what you tell me because they are not the same to me. I will do and say and think things others think are wrong. Things you think are wrong. I won't fly flags or pick sides. I'm not here for that. This is not my country. And I will follow the voice of my own conscience, whatever the consequence. I hope you see yourself in that choice. Even if you don't understand the particulars. You taught me that. So, thank you, John, for the chance to share a poem on the JoJo show in this way. Kind of like the JoJo show in-betweens, I guess. And don't a doggone haunt me till we meet again.